Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I want to talk about one of the updates that SDR Play has made in the latest version of SDR Uno, which is version 1.31. As you all may know, version 1.3 was the first version that introduced scanning to SDR Uno, and that was released in March of 2018. So about a month after they released version 1.3, SDR Play made some updates and enhancements and released version 1.31. So one of the features that SDR Uno included with the scanning feature is the ability to scan a memory bank. You can see here I've got the memory panel loaded with one of the saved memory banks that I've generated. And you can see I've got a range of frequencies that start at the 80 meter ham band and go all the way up into the VHF business band. In version 1.3, SDR Uno could scan all of these frequencies and hop between the bands, but one of the things it couldn't do was change modes. So basically when you started a scan, it started off with whatever mode was tuned up here in the RX control and stayed there. It didn't follow along with whatever mode was saved in the memory panel. One of the enhancements for version 1.3 is that the scan feature now follows along with whatever mode Submode, filter, and antenna port is saved in the memory panel. And that should greatly enhance the ability to scan through frequencies on different bands with different modes. So let's go ahead and scan through my memory bank here so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Alright, it's the gay AMers, the gay AMers. Let me purchase one stock and see what happens. Uh, over to you, Lou. KS3A. Just heard you guys in there thought we'd holler at you. Good call back to that. So as you saw, the scan feature worked perfectly. It scanned through all the different frequencies in the different bands. It followed the mode, filter, and antenna setting. I will mention that I'm running the RSP Duo, so I have two different receivers on this radio along with two different antennas. I'll also mention that the antenna connected to the antenna A port here for the lower frequencies is my 80 and 40 meter fan dipole, and the antenna I've got connected to port B is my two meter vertical antenna. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna wrap things up for this demonstration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to learn more about SDR Play's products, please check the links in the description below. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting the link to my Amazon store also in the description. Thanks for watching.